Aquarius, it's L here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear and concise message from you. Okay, Aquarius, last but not least, I see why the Spirit wanted me to do your reading last because it's so much to tell you. The other readings kind of just like flowed and it was just like, it was fast. We might have to extend this one. Um, okay, so Aquarius, Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, Knight of Wands. All right, so Aquarius, it looks like you have separated yourself from a connection. What, what type of connection it was, I don't know. It's probably one without uh, parameters, without boundaries, without a title, without structure. It was one that was, it wasn't moving. There was no mo movement, no forward movement, okay? It wasn't going in the right direction as Aquarius wanted it to go in. Um, so you kind of close up shop to that person, place, or that thing. but Because this could be about love or job. But anyway, um, definitely you're done. You're done and you shifted your focus. You're done because you were probably dealing with a player. F boy, F girl, somebody was just not serious about the connection, not as serious as you are, or you are. Um, you you could have given this person try after try. It could have been an off and on type of relationship. There was somebody who maybe somebody liked or loved the other a little bit too much. Somebody was more invested in the connection than the other. There was no investment being made by one party. It was only investment being made on the other party's behalf. Wherever you fit in, Aquarius, get in, get in there. Um, so somebody either separated from you or you separated from them because someone was just, you know, um, they were a player. They had manipulative behavior about them. They would manipulate the situation so that you could stay, so that your love your love could remain okay um it feels better to them when a person loves them the sex is better the connection is better the conversation is better imagine i don't know you know i don't have an analogy for that right now but you know there's a saying you know it's better when they love you. I don't know. You know, everything is better. So maybe someone was keeping up, you know, keeping up in the airs that they wanted the same thing as you. They wanted to be in a relationship, that the relationship was progressing, it was moving, but you guys really were not doing anything. And they saw you as the sweetheart. Yep, they saw you as the sweetheart. Uh, loyal, faithful, good nature, just all together, um, wonderful. Something that they weren't. You were everything that they were not. With you separating yourself from this person, the Nine of Swords could uh, be happening. Happening to this person. They, um, they, um, they're forced to rest in that anxious sea of thoughts. They're going over and over in their head. There's a mental attack going on for them. It could have gone on between June 1st and June 10th for them. It could still be going on. They're regretting their offense. They're, but they're refusing to... Um, reach out to you and they're also refusing to forgive themselves they wish they could turn back the clock 
they're very much focused on their own sins as maybe they should be. I don't know. They're in a place of wanting to cry, but they've already been there. Or this could be you wanting to cry, but you've already been there. You've already done that because you've done something over and over with this particular person or this particular thing. If it's a job or business or something of that nature. This person could work at night too. And they aren't they just aren't resting at all. Their whole psyche life is thrown off by you choosing to walk this go this life alone for right now all because this person couldn't choose or you couldn't choose Aquarius wherever you fit but this person wanted you as their sexy wife okay whether you were an actual wife or you showed up in their life as a wife. You showed up as firstly being very physically attractive. Um, then being sexually aroused by you. Sexually, um, you guys being sexually compatible. And then you showed up as a wife. You showed up with duty, with honor. Um, as loyal and they they want that back it's almost as if they got everything for nothing or they got everything for a little bit of something they did not give much to this connection and maybe Aquarius got tired of it or the other person got tired of you Aquarius you or this person could be saying right now, you know, I, I would say I love you, but I don't know what love is. Yeah, they don't because they can't give something they don't know what it is or if they don't have it about them or inside of them. But it looks like this person could want to return or they will return. They will return as the Knight of Wands. Okay, they're going to return to you. Um, very much, um, you know, physically attractive. This could happen around July 12th, maybe to early August. They could, they could return to you very self-assured. Um, they're not going to sweat the small stuff. They want you to forgive them. They're going to be sexy and seductive and... They're going to try to disarm you with that smile. Some of you, this can be like a pop-up. Where they pop up at your house or you guys are out and you see each other. This person wants to come back so they can finish what they started. They want to sweep you off your feet. I don't know, you know, this person just, with the Nine of Wands, they show up. They're on a conquest. They're out to finish what they started, and then they're gone. So be, be very aware of that. They're the soldier. They're dedicated to themselves and their duty. Duty to themselves, duty to their job. Nothing more and nothing less. So, we know that they're going to show up again. But don't be concerned with that, Aquarius, because you have a new start coming. Okay? And this could be, this is yes across the board. Okay? This is a new start. This could be in business. This is in love. Someone could be trying to flirt with you. Um... You're going to start realizing that you can have what it is you want. That your dreams can really well manifest for you. And your manifestation powers are working well for you. The new moon is a good time for you to manifest. And it's a time that witches, if you deem yourself a witch, this is when they do their, their, most, their best work and the most work to bring in the things that they want in their life. 
this is the time for you to wipe the slate clean to laugh this situation off and move on okay it happened you could have a new friend coming into you once again somebody is very interested in you they're flirting with you this card also talks about lessons learned um and now you're going to incorporate some part of you and you're going to acknowledge some part of you that you were rejecting you know maybe for a number of years you were rejecting that you gave too much you cared too much that you loved too much that you you open the door too soon or something of that nature but you're going to start to incorporate that in the here and the now especially with your new start coming some of you have divorce or you're the divorcee uh once again it happened you're in a grieving process give yourself time and then move on because you have love coming in for you, Aquarius. You have, um, with the answers are the, the answers you need are coming. Full moon in Gemini. You could be invited to an event where you'll meet someone. There's someone trying to flirt with you. This card also talks about not being too picky or too superficial, Aquarius. Because there is someone here in your midst that really, really likes you, and they really, really want to give you the time of day they really see you once again as the wife and because you remain faithful and you pass the test or some of you hope that you pass the test and you use your intuition when this person shows back up you will have what it is you want your dreams will manifest make sure that when this person shows up it is a no-go it is the death card it is over it, it cannot happen it needs to be, um, the door is shut. The coffin is nailed shut. It's sealed. Because you have something and someone new. This person could be around you now. You also have shifted your focus to entrepreneurship. Because we have the Ace of Wands. We have you doing something. We have you up for the challenge. We have you throwing your hat in the ring. We have you traveling. We have forward movement. Then we have the Nine of Pentacles, which talks about a savvy business owner, which is great. And then we have the Knight of Wands, which talks about the budding entrepreneur. So for some of you, you've shifted your focus into entrepreneurial endeavors. You're focused elsewhere. Um, love is not exactly on the back burner. But it's definitely not what you're exactly focused on. We do have some new new energy coming in. And I want to pick up on this new person. Especially for those of you who want new energy. Who want someone new. Uh, what we're going to do in the extended is talk about that new person. And what they have to offer. Because this, um, this last ditch effort to make this... Um, this other connection work is over um, and you you probably just need to leave it in the past with the new start it's coming it talks about leaving the past in the past so let's see about this this new person just who is this new person that Aquarius has who is this new person what's this new energy new love energy Okay, Aquarius. Um, okay, Aquarius. So we definitely have uh, someone new here. You look like you have a, a choice. You have a decision to make. It looks like a decision to make here. Um, meet me in the extended. We're going to talk about this new person and their energy and what they're bringing to the table. Uh, we're going to talk about what this person wants, this old person wants when they come back. Because they will resurface. Um, 
meet me in the extended. I hope that this reading gave you a bit of clarity. Uh, Aquarius, thank you. If you have a question or two, you can always text your question to the number below. You can also go over to the website and book your reading there. You can donate to the channel if you're feeling moved to do so by clicking the Buy Me a Coffee link. Thank you, Aquarius. Much love to you. Take care.